Make sure you get him, he's a big deal. Can I get one for the top and give it back? Thank you very much. Appreciate it for that. Yeah. I think they might ask you about the string or something. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Your lovely bride. Sorry, mate. No, it's it's stay back with the nice stuff. Right. I've done so many damn shows. It's gone really. You know, it's like. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, you go and do it. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'll leave you with these. All right. Sure. Thanks for that. I need a little break, so I got it. You know. I'm okay. All um, we're rolling, so we'll just start. I'll talk to the camera for a moment. Um, I've got some questions to ask you. Anything you don't want to cover? Anything you do want to cover? Can, yeah. we, can we include a dad joke? Oh wait, okay. But let me get a good one. All right, what, yeah, what, sure. Which one am I to tell? I mean, the turtle one's all right. I have, you know where I get all my dad jokes? We share. This is where I get all my. Is that who I think it is? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, just checking the phone is Axel Rose. <laughs> oh, that's a good oh, yeah, one. I, I, didn't, I didn't read it. Okay. Um, let's just do a, a joke. Start with a joke. I saw a kid napping. No, I <laughs> told her wrong already. So did you let him sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already saw it on there. I didn't did see it on there, yeah. Your, your phrasing uh, was a, a giveaway. Uh, oh, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is one I okay, got. Okay, this is good stuff. Good stuff. You know, a uh, slice of apple pie in uh, in Jamaica is uh, two dollars and uh, seventy five cents, mm -hmm. and if you go to the Bahamas, it's two dollars and fifty cents, and if you go to Aruba, it's three dollars for that same uh, slice of apple pie. And those are the pirates of the Caribbean. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you start an interview with Duff McKagan. Um, the pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm with you. <laughs> Uh, funnily enough, I saw a guy walking around dressed as a pirate with a parrot on his shoulder yesterday. Yeah? And he went, how you doing, fella? I was like, I'm doing good. Well, okay. I was waiting for the parrot to join. That's not a joke. Yeah, That's right, the, the yeah, real yeah, thing yeah. I was waiting for a punchline. You know, no, no. No. Just a boring story. Okay. Um, I'm Andy, this is the Tome on YouTube channel. I'm lucky enough to be sat in the Rotor Sound booth with Duff McKagan. Duff, how are you doing? I'm good. I mean, I'm, if, it, if you've been to the NAMM show before, it's cacophonous. Uh, so you, it's a, it's very nice for me when I come here to come to Rota Sound. There's a little uh, uh, inlet from the storm yeah. that is Nam. It's the same for us. We've been hanging out here, having a good time, it's resting, good, yeah. and waiting for uh, the rock and roll, and uh, here it is. Yeah. Okay. Why, why are you here with Rota Sound? What's um, what's your connection? What's my connection? I don't know. I thought I'd stop by, see what's going on. They have the best water in the well, in the apparently convention. Apparently, they make bass strings and guitar strings. They do. Yeah. Uh, no, I've been playing these. Uh, I've had a relationship with, with Jason and Rota Sound for a long, long time. I, I don't know, 30 years? Like that. Yeah. So 30 years? Sounds like a long time. I, um, when I started playing bass in earnest, which was Guns N' Roses, really, um, I got a, a Fender bass when we got our, our record advance. I finally had money to buy like a proper, some proper gear, and uh, I was, I had a particular sound that I was already kind of carving out for myself in that band. There's, there's Izzy's guitar sound, which is one particular thing. There's Slash's fuller guitar sound. There's the drums, and 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 Stephen Adler's particular little engine between the the snare and the and the kick, yeah. and hi hat really, and Axel's voice, and, and the bass had to be somewhere in there that could cut through. And um, I tried these, somebody had suggested back then that I tried these swing bass Rotosound strings. I bought a set, we rehearsed right behind Guitar Center, so it was easily accessible. I had a little bit of money. I tried the, that first set of strings. I think I bought two more sets, not that you ever ba break a bass string. This is before I knew like, you, you should probably change your strings. Right. You know, Apparently, yeah. Once in a while, yeah. um, but they were so like that sound on Appetite is a, that Fender Jazz Special, the Roto Sound strings. It's really for me. It made the difference. I've never strayed from 
from this. I'm not trying to be a, a pitch man for Ozone. No, 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 man. If it's but the truth, it's, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. Uh, this Tortex pick, like a .72, uh, and the cord goes to the amp, you know, really. A particular head that I use and, and speakers. But this is a, a main, mainstay of my sound. Oh, and you're still using them? And, and of course, yeah. What, how, how has your tone sort of evolved over the years? Have you stuck with what you know? Or? Um, I, I've, I've changed my tone. I mean, I still have my, my GK tone, that, that, that tone, that Rotosound Fender, GK 800RB, 15-inch speaker, EV 400-watt speaker sound. Uh, chorus pedal, old Ibanez 80s chorus pedal. That I, I stole the chorus sound from a band called Magazine. Um, from England. Yes. You, probably, you probably know those guys. Yeah, personally, yeah. Because we, we drink tea together. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Uh, and, um, I, but I, my sound has evolved a bit over the years. Uh, a bit more distortion on some songs. I, I uh, played the Fender Super Basement Head as well as Galen Kruger. And uh, um, this band, The Walking Papers, that I was playing in right before Guns got back together. I had a big, much bigger, broader sound because the bass had to take up more of the space, kind of more like Killing Joker or something like that. Uh, so I, that was the head, but not the strings that I okay. changed or okay. the bass. Really. Awesome. Yeah. And how's the solo work going? Oh yes, just uh, my my record. Yeah. Oh, so I yeah I I've written a couple books and. Uh, this last tour that I was just on was two and a half years, and um, we traveled around the, the world like four times. And wow. it was a very interesting time. The last two and a half years has been interesting in England, interesting in America, interesting in the rest of the world as well. And I'm a history reader. I, I, all I do really is just read every night. And uh, I like being informed. I like traveling, talking to people. And knowing where you know what the lay of the land is wherever I go, and, it, and it's evolved over the 30 years I've been traveling. Uh, it, it interests me. Um, instead of writing a book about that, which I was thinking of doing, like especially the climate that we evolved into, it's sort of more divided. This has happened many times before. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. history repeats itself, but people get pretty assed up. You know, not realizing. This has happened before. Man, I'm from Britain. There's a whole lot of stuff going on at the moment. I know. That I'm speaking actually almost directly to you. Yeah. Um, so I wrote these little vignettes, like uh, that meant were going to be starts of like stories that I was going to write about, but it be, they became songs uh, about just kind of observational songs. I, I played acoustic guitar and I played bass on the record. And Shooter Jennings uh, produced it. We used Shooter's band. And um, I'm really proud of it. It's, it. it's like another book for me. It's, it's a launching of a book as opposed to a... Uh, it's not a rock record. Okay. Uh, so uh, I don't know if people will be surprised or, or not, but it, I thought it was important for me now as a father. Um, How many kids do you have? And a citizen. How many kids do you have? I have two daughters. Yeah, one's playing right now. Her band's playing somewhere here. Um, they're called the Pink Slips. She's 21. But I, uh, I, it's just with all these, you know, I've read so many goddamn books on history, and I still do, that I thought uh, maybe it's, it's time for me to just point out some things that I've observed. Not pointing fingers at anybody, because that does no good. No. Um, and I, who, I, you know, I, I can, I feel I have a voice that I can kind of say, this, is, yeah, this has happened before, and here's what happened then, and it's happening again. But, you know, let's not fall for it. Well, speaking, okay. speaking of Europe, have you got any plans to come over to Europe at any time? I think we're, I'm going to do some festivals, yeah, this, this summer, in June. Any in Germany? Perhaps, yeah. It's all getting laid out. I think I'm going to start in Washington, D.C. Uh, that's not in Germany? It's not. But uh, uh, I'm going to play particular shows. That, that means something, I hope to. So, but the festivals uh, we're working on right now. Okay, yeah. good. Well, if you're ever in Germany, we'd love you to come and stop by our shop. Where are you? We're in Treppendorf, which is near uh, Nuremberg. Oh, oh, Nuremberg. It's I've a little bit of a drive, but it's worth it. We've got a I've whole... I've been to Nuremberg so many times. A whole yeah. lot of stuff, a whole lot of good stuff, and some really awesome custom shop stuff as well. Oh, cool. All right. So you're welcome any time. All right. And You don't sound German. No, I'm from Britain.
Just like the strings. I'm just joking. Yeah. Okay, Duff, thank you so much for your time. Right. Um, I hope you have a great show. I wish you the great rest of the day. Okay. And um, YouTube, leave your comments for Duff McKagan here at Rotor Sound. Don't leave comments. You're going to read all of them, aren't you? I totally always do. No. Wow. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.